This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com, and here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for May 18th, 2022. Walt Disney World tickets and resort bookings for 2023 will be available beginning June 8th of 2022. Disney also announced that early theme park entry will be available to Walt Disney World Resort guests through all of 2023 as well. They also said that starting June 8th, Genie Plus will only be available to purchase through My Disney Experience on the day of a visit to Walt Disney World instead of as a pre-arrival add-on. Disney also stated that Genie Plus will be subject to availability, implying that they may limit the number of Genie Plus sales each day, especially on busy days like Christmas and New Year's Eve. Disney stated they are focused on delivering the best possible guest experience, and this adjustment will help manage the incredibly strong demand our guests have shown for Disney Genie Plus. After the attraction opens to the general public on May 27th, guests will be able to use a virtual queue to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. We now know that the virtual queue will open at 7 a.m. and then again at 1 p.m. to guests with a valid park ticket and park pass reservation at Epcot. At these times, guests can use the My Disney Experience app to reserve a boarding group. Guests may be anywhere to reserve that boarding group at 7 a.m., but they must be inside the park in order to reserve a group at 1 p.m. We also now know that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind will be available during evening extended hours at Epcot, but during that, it will use a virtual queue as well. Quote, registered guests staying at a Disney Deluxe Resort, Disney Deluxe Villa Resort, or other select hotels will have an opportunity, an additional opportunity to request to join the virtual queue at 6 p.m. on select dates during extended evening theme park hours. Guests with this benefit do not need to be in Epcot to request to join at that time. Guests, of course, again, will need a valid admission and a theme park reservation for the same park on the same day to experience extended evening hours, or guests may experience extended evening hours if they have a ticket or annual pass with the park hopper option and first enter the park where they made their reservation. So there you go. Um, with Remy, they added it into extended hours, and then uh, you didn't have to do boarding groups, but with Cosmic Rewind, you will have to do them. While Cosmic Rewind is not yet officially open, guests and cast members have been enjoying previews of the roller coaster for a few weeks now, and many are reporting getting motion sick. The ride, which is the first roller coaster in Epcot's history and the first reverse launch in Disney history, features rotating ride vehicles. Many who have ridden say the coaster is smooth but causes motion sickness even if they don't typically experience it. Some guests, of course, are unaffected, while a large number were reporting symptoms including mild to moderate dizziness and nausea. We witnessed many guests resting inside the Connections Eatery, uh, that and outside on just on the planters uh, near Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, all complaining of sickness from the ride. A lot of people we've spoken to, um, it seems half and half. I don't know, and I can't give you an actual percentage, but I will tell you of the people I've traveled with, it's definitely half and half. My father rode once on the D23 preview day, and he was done at that point. He said, I'll ride again later. He never felt good enough to ride again. Um, but then again, it's like, I, I felt a little sick after my first ride um, during the first annual pass holder preview. By my fourth ride that day, I was like, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't think I can do more. I'm, I need to sit and eat and drink something and feel better. Um, but I noticed that ha having been on it more now and having some idea of where it's going to go, where the train's going to travel and when we're going to spin, Obviously, if you're more prepared for where you're going and you're less disoriented, you're less likely to be motion sick. But obviously, anyone's first time on this or first several times on this, you're not going to know where you're going. And a dark, enclosed space with bright white dots everywhere um, where you're spinning and also traveling at a high speed is obviously going to disorient you. And that is what basically, in most cases, causes motion sickness. So I think it's going to be an issue. I mean, it's not going to be mission space level. Nothing's going to be mission space level, but um, I think it may be the, the first uh, Disney park attraction probably in 19 years where we have to talk about how many people get motion sick on it. I think it's, it's going to be a thing. Starting May 31st, guests will be able to access the Lightning Lane of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure with the purchase of Genie Plus instead of that separate individual Lightning Lane purchase. It'll be available with Genie Plus through at least August 7th. They've committed to that date at this point. It may revert back to an individual later. Um, we'll have to wait and see. 
Governor Ron DeSantis has stated that he intends for the state of Florida to take control of the Reedy Creek Improvement District rather than the local governments, according to the Orlando Sentinel. DeSantis recently signed a law that will lead to the dissolution of the Reedy Creek District, which is currently running the Walt Disney World Resort, run by the Walt Disney World Resort. It's set to dissolve on June 1st, 2023. The governor is creating a proposal for the state's takeover of the district that he expects to present to the legislature after the November elections. DeSantis is up for election this fall. Quote, I'd much rather have the state leading that effort than potentially having local government. I'm worried that they would use that as a pretext to raise taxes on people when that's what they would want to do anyways, and then try to blame Reedy Creek, DeSantis said regarding his proposal. That sounds like someone that's running for office. He refers to the nearly $2 billion debt that Reedy Creek currently has, which state law would pass on the local governments, including Orange and Osceola counties. Concern has been expressed that the citizens would pay Disney's debts through taxes, but DeSantis insists the debt will stay with Disney. Federal judge recently dismissed the case in Osceola County where taxpayers uh, were trying to fight that in regards to the dissolution. Recently, some changes were made to the finale of Disney Enchantment Fireworks of the Magic Kingdom to include new laser effects and some extra rounds of fireworks. The new version of the finale harkens back to the former Happily Ever After with an extra set of flare, uh, flares launching to the left and right of the castle. As Angela Bassett says, you are the magic. After purple and yellow lasers emerge from below the 50 icon on the castle as even more fireworks launch during the finale. The show is then capped off with one red Mickey Mouse silhouette shaped firework. This is a whole new finale. I know what you're going to say in the comments. Just bring back happily ever after. And I agree. <laughs> after being closed for over two years due to COVID-19, Harmony Barbershop of the Magic Kingdom will reopen on July 31st, 2022. A limited number of reservations will be bookable in the My Disney Experience app beginning June 28th. Walk-in appointments will be accepted based on availability. Alongside the announcement that the barbershop would reopen this summer, Disney finally announced that the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique locations would begin to reopen later this year at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort. No exact time frame nor which locations would open first were specified, but as you know, a couple weeks ago we told you they were already starting to rehire people, so um, it probably won't be long after the end of July, so stay tuned. Some rhinos at Kilimanjaro Safaris and Animal Kingdom are now wearing activity trackers on their ankles similar to fitness trackers we humans might wear on our wrists. These trackers are being used as part of a larger research project on rhinos at several accredited zoos and wildlife centers across the U.S. With the activity trackers, animal care specialists can learn about the activity level of rhinos uh, when they go to sleep in the evening, the distance they are running and walking each day, and where they like to spend time on the savanna. Due to legal poaching in the wild, uh, managed rhino populations are important for the survival of the species, and this research will ensure they receive the best care possible. You can watch a video all about the project on our website. That's right, even rhinos got an activity banned before I did. I still just have magic bands. Don't know how far I walked. No idea. It's not very far. <laughs> Three new summer treats are available at Gasparilla Island Grill at the Grand Floridian. There's the Cheshire Cat Wildberry Parfait, the Orange Bird Cake Pop, and the Brownie Crispy Cone. The Cheshire Cat Wildberry Parfait is $6.49 and features layers of wildberry mousse, raspberry sauce, and berry crumble with a Cheshire Cat white chocolate disc. The Orange Bird Cake Pop is $7.99. It features vanilla cake pop with citrus buttercream enrobed in white chocolate decorated as the Orange Bird. The Brownie Crispy Cone is $5.49. It's a Rice Krispie Treat shaped like a scoop of ice cream sitting on a sugar cone filled with a brownie and chocolate syrup. I remember when Rice Krispie Treats were just Rice Krispie Treats. That's a weird treat. It's cute, though. It's very cute. Cast member Iridescent Evenings will take place on 15 select evenings this summer at the Walt Disney World Resort. Cast members will be able to choose one of 15 available dates and bring one guest with them. The events will happen at the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios after the park closes to regular guests. Attractions and character appearances will be available. Here are the dates that will be available. At the Magic Kingdom, June 7th, 9th, 16th, 28th, and 30th. At Hollywood Studios, June 10th, 29th, July 18th, August 8th, and August 21st. At Epcot, they'll be July 20th, the 27th, August 10th, August 23rd, and August 30th. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical trip. 
Best part, their services are free. Visit www.travel for details. And yes, it is summer in Florida. You could hear that thunder. Just going to have to live with it the next couple months here on the show because we record in the afternoon every day. That's when it likes to rain and have a thunderstorm, right? Of course, if you want to pick up this great sci-fi dine-in button-down or any other great merchandise from the Carousel of Products, you can at carouselofproducts.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, be sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can support the entire team behind this program and others by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Big shout out to all our wigs. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. And the gods have been angered by all the celebrating. Looking for the latest in Disney news on the go? Then download WDWNT the app. From news to videos to park hours and more, WDWNT the app is your one-stop shop for the latest from the Disney world. Available on iPhone and Android, just search for WDWNT in your device's app store.